Welcome to session 92E from the well-known Little Mobile Studio 11 where we will uh, tackle and investigate the sorting algorithm bubble sort. Now, what is bubble sort? Well, I consulted uh, the first line uh, knowledge uh, resource, namely Wikipedia, and there you can read bubble sort is a simple sorting algorithm. Now, every time I see simple, yeah, I don't know if a student, when he's learning that for his exam, will find it also simple, so you have to take uh, caution when somebody mentions that it's not uh, explained why they consider it simple they just explain what it does the algorithm starts at the beginning of the data set it compares the first two elements and if the first is greater than the second it swaps them it continues doing this for each pair of adjacent elements to the end of the data set it then starts again with the first two elements repeating until no swaps have occurred on the last pass this algorithm in algorithms average time and worst case performance is big O n and that's a, a, a square it must be a square square so it's rarely used to sort large unordered data sets we know other uh, square uh, 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 sorting algorithms uh, selection sort for instance selection sort and also insertion sort where that whereas insertion sort can be considered a bit better then uh, selection sort and uh, also bubble sort so but those are not so uh, very good uh, sorting algorithms they are used there are situations where you can use them um, yeah why we will not go into detail uh, into that it's not the uh, the, the thing we want to do in this session we want to get uh, deeper into how bubble fun uh, bubble sort functions and uh, and so on yeah so let's go a bit further that road and then yeah maybe i don't think it's mentioned in the wikipedia but where comes from where comes the name bubble sort the bubble the bubble eh? which is so uh, so uh, so up to date at eh? the these days i will no not go further into that but so where when you look at uh, yeah a sparkling uh, beverage or something then you can see that there are bubbles and those bubbles are going up so the bubbles are going up and that's also when we go a bit further what will happen with the values they will bubble up to their place in the array so it's better than okay that's true that you consider the array standing up and that all the values are uh, are in there and then what you will see is if a value 3 is here then and here is 5 and here is uh, 9 and here is 2 and here is 1 for instance then you will see that the tree will bubble up until it's on its place namely here and the rest is going down in the other way that's the principle of a bubble sort and that's why it's got its name yeah but how does it function uh, uh, more in detail well that's what we're gonna try to find out in the coming minutes uh, i have here the pseudocode for uh, bubble sort yeah where we have an input uh, input uh, argument namely an array we're going to take integers let not no, let's not do uh, difficult so integers uh, and the output is also then an array of integers of course but uh, it will be sorted the array contains n useful values and we're not going to do uh, uh, <laughs> the array special now so we consider that the array exists and it contains actual values the special uh, situations you can program in your on your own time but here we we gonna consider it of, uh, that everything is uh, working like it should and the input is normal well then this is the pseudocode for bubble sort so we're gonna try to find it out we have two four loops as you can see which are uh, running in each other so a nested for loop um, one for loop you have a first counter i which is counting up and then a second counter j which is counting down you know that uh, yeah the for loop is, is like a while loop but uh, actually uh, and, uh, it's it basically it's the same but uh, that's more cosmetic so uh, certain things are not written and what are those things well the initial uh, uh, value that is given to the uh, to the parameter to the counter must be considered that is written here but then you have the uh, the condition that must be controlled that must be checked every time you go in the for loop that is not written here so yeah we have the the upper uh, uh, 
bound and here it's uh, because we're going down here so it's a lower bound yeah as you can see and those have to be uh, also considered every time you go through the for loop also what's not written with uh, for loop is that uh, at the end actually your counter is or uh, decreased with one yeah in this case or for the other one increased with one what is happening here okay i have also uh, so those are some uh, thoughts before we go deeper into it i have also the working uh, java code this is actually java code i've changed some uh, names of the variables so i hope you can uh, match the boat you can uh, always go back in the video uh, and uh, put it uh, on hold so you can if you're interested because now we're gonna further to try to uh, investigate and to uh, uh, fathom the uh, the this uh, procedure or this algorithm and therefore we're going to answer two questions or going to take two uh, tasks here count the exact number of times depending on the size of the array being n with uh, uh, an element of n being n with an element of n so natural number of course that uh, the selection in the program line three and that, that's here so the selection it's a selection structure uh, of the pseudocode namely it's written here is being executed so you have to count uh, how many times for a given uh, input that line 3 is uh, actually uh, passed or uh, executed uh, uh, how many times that uh, condition is controlled uh, uh, given a certain input array that you are uh, running derive a closed formula displayed uh, displaying the time complexity of line number three and from this formula write a theta notation for the execution time of the bubble sort algorithm so that is what something we have to do so we have to come uh, up with the time complexity for that uh, uh, rule number three yeah? that's line number three and then we have to derive from it a time complexity to find out how the because that's the core that's the heart of our algorithm and that will uh, yeah give uh, an indication for the rest of the algorithm how uh, quick or slow it is uh, running yeah and then the second uh, part consider the following array of integers there we have an, an example so this is this array, array with four integers in it show the steps uh, the bubble sort algorithm performs in an unambiguous progress table where you keep at least track of the values that i j and the array a itself go through so that's a lot of work that we have to do here i hope you can uh, see that already and therefore i will uh, let you breathe a while and uh, we'll uh, tackle uh, the actual uh, exercise and tasks in the f in the next uh, video in the next session